y'all, it's Simply Erica. So this is not a hair review. This isn't anything I have planned out. This is just something I've just been thinking about. And I kind of want to start doing a thing where I have girl talk, you know. So you see me in the flesh. I have no makeup on. I'm literally in my natural habitat in my dorm. Uh, and I just kind of want to talk about, uh, this kind of go back to the trending video of Hurt Bay, uh, aka he cheated and she wants to know why. Now I'm not going to do a typical reaction on the video and I know I'm kind of late on the topic itself but I kind of want to focus on a different aspect that nobody seems to really touch. Now <clears throat> if you have seen the video you know that it is very heartbreaking. The emotions were so real that it, it made you kind of question like wow were these people really going through that or what? But what I liked about it so much was that it was a mirror. A mirror for everyone whether you're a man or a woman who's been in that situation and we're not even talking about cheating. Let's toss cheating out. Just talking about being in a situation where you've given your all to somebody and it's not accepted like at the end of that video you just felt broken but why because we've all been there I kind of want to start on or talk about rather than what was wrong with the man's point of view and what was wrong with the woman that I feel like we as women fail with so much we just fail with sticking up for ourselves we're just talking about disrespect altogether. like we, we got to do better we have to do better you know we we just always are in this defeat like we can't help ourselves and she just felt helpless who could she turn to at that point you know it kind of was this happened and I have to deal with it and so many I think what I'm trying to say is we deal with things so much just to say that we're with somebody like I said not even cheap we put up with so much disrespect and disrespect behavior behavior altogether because we're just afraid to be alone let's all think about this ladies when you were with somebody and they treated you bad why did you stick with them you know they weren't any good for you in the back of your mind why we we all know love makes you do crazy things but really what was the scary part about leaving them and I know women don't like to admit it because we like to do the I'm an independent girl and all that you know dating in this age is hard it's really hard and I have this debate with my boyfriend all the time about who has it harder in the dating world and I I say it's women because especially if you got somebody who has standards it takes you a minute to find somebody so I think while we put up with so much crap it's just because we want to feel secure we don't have to worry about starting over you know trying to deal with that whole fresh start crap we kind of just want to stay in this cocoon stay with what we know that means we're going to take it as it comes and I think what really drives me, like I said about these reactions to it, is oh, we would we would sit up here and I'd say we would slap them or we would do this. But think about it. Think back to that person who really hurt you. Did you even slap them? No, you probably stayed with them. Why? Because you loved them and you didn't want to be with anybody else but them, despite what you knew about them. We, I'm guilty of it too. I've been with people where... You know, I knew in the back of my head it was probably time to walk away, but I felt like because I had that security, I stayed and dealt with it. And we all have been there. And it's kind of one of those things where we need to really step our game up and think, we can do better. I just really liked how that uh, presentation came out because it really, it that was a message for somebody. I really believe that was a message for somebody about this is how you look taking this person's bull. You look kind of stupid. 
a little bit. Just trying to make something work that won't work. And that's nothing. We as women, we will fight to the death until we get a successful relationship. We will ride that thing out. And I think that's a good thing about when we are very committed creatures. Once we get, when we like something and we know we want, we will stick with it. And the sucky part is, is trying to convince that other person to feel the same way. The feelings of thinking rationally and thinking emotionally clash. Because we just want this to work so bad. And we've all been there. We all have been there. And, you know, sometimes you just gotta call it a quits, yo. Sometimes you gotta think in the back of your head, like, can I see myself with this person? Like, is this really for me? Do I... Is there something better that I'm missing out on? Is there... Is there something in my life that I could be growing towards and not even know it because I'm still stuck on trying to make this work? We have to really sit down and think about these things that, you know... Maybe it's time for us to walk away. And the question is how, Erica? How do you walk away from somebody that you've been with a long time and, you know, you're doing anything you can to be with them and make it work by knowing that you will be okay in the end. And you will be to a point in your life where you're like, wow, I really did need to get up out of that because, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't. Think about that stuff. If you're single right now, and think about your past relationship. Think about what you're doing now. And question like, would you would you really be doing those things if you were with this person? Would you have discovered these new hobbies? Or these new interests? Or this new career? Or new internship? College? Uh, anything. Would you have explored all these opportunities if you were with this person? That you probably knew that wasn't no good for you. You know, because you were too busy draining your emotions into a relationship that was dead. And that's what I feel like the girl did in the video. She was draining her emotions into something that just was no more. And the sad part is she wrote it out. And the fact that she had the, like, the chance to sit down, with, I wouldn't have done that because it's nothing for us to talk about. And I also think it was pretty stupid that they stayed friends in the end because you know what? I also felt like that was a way of him trying to reel her back in to use her for whatever. And sometimes you just, you just got to cut it off, y'all. Y'all just got to cut it off. How will you ever grow if you don't let them go? We like to keep these exes around. Y'all don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Move on. It's going to hurt. I'm never, I never said it would not hurt. It is not easy at all. You just got to walk away, dust yourself off, and know that it was a good ride while it lasted, and keep pushing. I really feel like she should have let it go. That's why I feel like my prediction of what happens at the end, end that nobody, or what they don't show is, you know, she, she, she's reeled back into him. And I felt like he was messing it up for it. At that point, when somebody's trying to come back in your life that you know that need to stay away, let them stay away. If he ain't gonna get you to where you're going, he don't need to be there. This was our chapter. This is how it started. This was what happened during it, and this is the end of it. Close that book and move on. And women, we just, like I said, we just gotta do better. I'm tired of us always just taking crap, just taking and taking. I've seen it in Friends. I've seen it in, you know, just hearing other people's story. We just take so much crap and you just shake your head as the third party. That's like, girl, you can do so much better. And I know I'm preaching to somebody right now. You can do better. And you, Cause you probably with somebody you know you shouldn't be with. And you just don't want to admit it to yourself because you are afraid to start over. You want to stick with what you know cause you're afraid you won't find better. And you will, trust me, you will. It's not going to come tomorrow. It may not come next month. And you know why? Because you need to get yourself together before you get with anybody else. You're going to be carrying that baggage from that past relationship into a new relationship. And they don't want to deal with that. So you need to get yourself together 
before all of that. I want women to realize that you don't need to tolerate this at all. At and all. relationships are trial and errors. Sometimes they work, sometimes they do. And the sad part is it may not work with the person that you really, really wanted it to be with. But when you meet that person that was meant for you, you realize, oh, you know, <laughs> maybe he wasn't meant for me. It, it wasn't meant to work. Because you know what? If it didn't work, if it did work, I would have never met him. And that's how you kind of have to look things. And that's how you overcome this mindset that you have to stick with somebody who treats you so poorly just because you don't want to move on. So, that's my rant for the day. I would love to do more girl talks in my dorm room. I think I'm going to do it called the dorm uh, series. I should do that. The dorm talk series. Girl girl nights in Erica's dorm. So, um, but thank you guys for listening. I just had to get that off my chest. I need to rant because I'm just chilling. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know the drill. Bye.